Hello and welcome to this Profit Protector Pro video. So I'm going to run through with you all the current features of Profit Protector Pro. So this is uh, just a test account that we've got here, so we don't have anything for sale. It's just got fake data in it. But it's just an example to show you how Profit Protector Pro works. So this is the inventory page. And on this page is where you'll manage all your repricing. So let's go through this page first, because it's probably the one that you'll see the most. So you can search up here for an ASIN, a SKU or a product. You can click any of those, you know, put in your, your ASIN or whatever you want to do to search and Profit Protector Pro will search it for you. If you're doing a lot of price changes, I mean, Profit Protector Pro has got an automatic save built into it, but you should always do a hard save when you're doing uh, things as important as uh, repricing anyway. So you can click there to save your price changes. You have the option to choose different strategies and you know, we, later on I'll show you how to set a default one. So this option up here gives you the option to, to change all of your market, all of your strategies to default. So we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more later on. So up here you've got all your different, uh, you know, your different tabs that we're going to go through in a little while. Now Profit Protector Pro has built into having two different looks to it. So you can view it in a way that suits you. If you sell on lots of marketplaces, and I've got all the marketplaces here covered that Profit Protector Pro currently works with. And we've got, you know, you've got a lot of different marketplaces to look at. And that's a great view to use because you can see all your marketplaces in one place, which is super helpful. But if you've only got one marketplace, then that would be a bit odd because it'd all be over stacked over on the left hand side and you'd have an awful lot of white space on your page. So we've introduced tabbed view as well. So you can click tab view and it will change the view for you. So if you're only sending in one marketplace, then this would definitely be the way you wanted to view Profit Protector Pro. But I'm going to switch back to multi view just because we've got uh, lots of marketplaces to show you. So you can, I'll show you how to select what marketplaces you want to see a little bit later. We've got no listings in the US, which is why that one's not populated, but it would look exactly like this, except obviously it would be in dollars. So along here, there's different ways that you can view your product. So you can look at all the ones that are in stock, the ones that need minimums and maximums, the ones that are at max, the ones where the buy box is lower than your minimum. And obviously you can look at all products too. And here, all the way through Profit Protector Pro, you've got these little question marks where you can hover and it will give you helpful information about what you're looking at at that time. You can also choose to sort your products here. And then you can choose how many SKUs you want to have a look at on your one page there. And obviously your pages will then populate depending on how much you have in your account. So let's come down here. So Profit Protector Pro will always show you a copy, you know, an image of your product. It will show you the uh, title of the product. It will give you your SKU. It will tell you the ASIN. It will tell you how many you've got in stock. That's not exactly in real time. It's about an hour or so out. So. You know, it's not exactly real time, but it's very close. It'll, you can add in here your buy price if you want to. That's purely for you as a reminder of what you purchased something for. You can delete your SKU from Profit Protector Pro by clicking on the delete button. And you've got the option to write notes if you want to leave yourself a little note about whatever. So you can do that in there. So you've got here, you've got a big tool tip there. So it's worth having a look at that once you, you know, get into your account. So we'll go through these marketplaces. So what you've got here is you've got obviously the buy box price, what the low FBA price is, how far away you are from the buy box, your current price, the BSR number of the product, what your break even is, which you'll need to enter yourself unless you're using BuyBot Pro. If you are using BuyBot Pro, then you can use the widget within BuyBot Pro to enter your products into Profit Protector Pro and it will pre-populate your break even and your buy price for you. And obviously most importantly here, you've got your minimum, your maximum, and you need to set these for every product before Profit Protector Pro will work. Because you know Profit Protector Pro needs to know what your minimum and your maximum is. Now, when you're setting your minimum, I would really recommend you set a happy minimum. So set a minimum that you're actually happy to sell at, not just like your break even price. Use a happy, happy minimum because Profit Protector Pro has some amazing strategies and algorithms built into it. Literally, totally and utterly unique to Profit Protector Pro. 
that focus on getting you the most profit possible. But to do that, Profit Protector Pro needs to be able to bounce about within the minimum and the maximum to achieve what it needs to do to get you the, the most profit. So it will use your minimum and your maximum whilst it's doing that to trick other repricers and do what it does to get you the sale at a higher profit. So make sure the minimum is one that you're happy to sell at. And you can enter your maximum. Make sure your maximum is a fair maximum because obviously you don't want Profit Protector Pro going too high because one, it, you know, it'll create pricing alerts potentially in your Amazon account. So make sure you're sensible with your maximum. And then here you choose your strategy. Now, as I say, the strategies built into Profit Protector Pro are super, super clever. So you've got lots to choose from and you have all of these which are um, you've got aggressive sales generator, balanced sales accumulator. I'm going to go through all of these with you. And then you've got some you know, standard ones at all. You've got like match buy box and penny under and penny over and low, match low price. You've got some standard ones as well. And then we've got a used goods or book strategy currently in beta. And we've got some merchant fulfilled specific um, strategies also currently in beta, which are all doing well. So that's how you choose the strategy that you want Profit Protector Pro to use to get you sales. And then you can just switch your repricing on and off using that little toddle. So that's how you switch it on and off. So this is the page that you'll probably use the most. You can then just scroll down and see all your products across all marketplaces. And obviously, of course, if you're in the UK and selling in Europe, you have all the, all the marketplaces included for free. We don't charge you extra for the extra marketplaces. They are all included within your subscription price. Obviously, if you're selling in the US, then you're probably just selling in the US. But that's a great feature for people selling in the UK and across Europe. So let me go into the analysis tab and we'll just cover that so I don't forget it because it's at the end. So as I said to you, this is just a test account. So there is nothing for sale. So this area is not particularly densely populated because there's not very much there. So we have none at the buy box and we have none at minimum or at maximum or anything. So you can have a look through here and it will give you lots of information all about your account and what your account's doing and what your repricing is doing so you know what's going on at all times. And you can toggle here between repricing and sales. Obviously, as I say, we don't have anything in here. There's no sales here because it's a fake account. But you can have a look. You know, Obviously, if it's your account, you can thumb through all the different marketplaces and have a look and see what your sales are. As I say, you can control what marketplaces you see, and we will come to that later. So if in the US, you don't have to see all these other ones. It will just give you your marketplace. But we'll come to that shortly. So let's talk about next, let's talk about the strategies. So in this, in this tab here, we've I've literally, we've gone through and we have explained all the different strategies to you and what they're designed to do. So one of the first things you should do when you get Profit Protector Pro is read this page because it's really going to help you decide what strategies to use for your repricing. So the default strategies I told you, we're going to go through that as well. You can choose that. And that just means that you've chosen one of these as your default. And then when Profit Protector Pro reprices to your default, then it can use that, if you ever use that. You could completely ignore default if you want to. You don't have to use that. So here you've got sales aggressive sales generator, and there we talk about exactly what it's trying to do, what it's trying to achieve. So you know exactly what it's gonna do. And we've given it these helpful little dots based on what that strategy is doing. So as you can see, aggressive sales generator is very focused on sales and not really focused on your profit. So be careful, as I say, for every product, what, what minimum price you use, but specifically for the ones that are really sales focused, because it will be doing exactly that, focusing on getting you the sales and there will be um, you know, an effect on the profit for that because it's focused on sales. And you've got the balanced sales accumulator. That one is still focused on sales, but it's just a tiny little bit more focused on profit too and not just focused on sales like the aggressive one. And you've got the cautious sales enhancer which is starting to take more of a mid-range sort of approach. So it's sort of much more of a, a, a match buy box sort of approach on the cautious sales enhancer. Then you've got the dynamic profit builder, which is the first one that's starting to focus more on profit. So it was still, it's still trying to get you sales, don't get me wrong, and it still will get you sales. 
and it will get you sales at a higher price. But it's for those that aren't focused on sales as much as they are profit. And then we move up further into the hybrid profit harvester. And once again, that's more profit focused and less sales focused. And the passive profit maximizer is totally profit sales. So the profit Passive Profit Maximizer is the other end of the scale to the first one, to the aggressive sales generator. This one is really, really focused on sales. And this one is really, really focused on profit. So this will very much be passive in its pursuit of the buy box and is absolutely focused on getting you the most profit. And then, of course, you've got your match buy box and your penny under buy box and such like. And you've got all of those. And then we've got the used goods, the ones I've talked about already that are currently in beta. So we talk about what they're focused on doing here and the different dynamic and cautious and balanced for the MF. So that gives you an idea of what, what each one's doing in terms of how focused it is on sales and profit and how focused it is on, you know, what, what it's doing and what it's trying to achieve for you. So it's worth reading through that whole page because it makes you know a lot more sense of how to use Profit Protector Pro once you understand these strategies. So we've got a page here of training videos and that will go through with you and you know we talk through different features here, how to get started, the strategy walkthrough which you're listening to now, you know, you've got the BuyBot Pro integration and you've got the Sorry, you're not listening to the strategy one. You're listening to the feature walkthrough now. And this one just talks about the strategy. So this goes into the strategies in a lot more detail. So we talk about the Chrome extension, which I'll cover with you shortly. Uh, build international listings, which is something that's in your Seller Central account, which you can use uh, to help you. So that video will talk you through that. Profit Protector Pro has a bulk inventory uh, feature. So I'm going to talk you through that shortly. And that's three videos on how to use that, depending on whether you're using Excel or numbers and what you're using with you using Google Sheets. So that will go, they'll train you on everything you need to know about Profit Protector Pro. So here we've got a frequently asked questions. So if you've got a question, you can always go through here and with chances are we have probably answered it in here and you can get your answer instantly. If you don't want to do that, then support is always available on info at profitprotectorpro.com and support is 24 hours a day, uh, five days a week, but it, the support is there seven days a week too. We're just, it's not just not 24 hours on the weekends, it's just during the day. So that's what's all in the frequently asked questions. Now in the account settings, you've got some options in here and the first one, my account, shows you this. So this takes you into where you can choose your marketplaces. So as you can see, we had them all visible when we were in the inventory and they're all here and they're all visible. So you can click these on and off as you want to see them. Obviously, if you're in the US, then you'd click all of these ones off and you'd just be seeing the US. If you're only selling in the UK and Europe, then you'd probably click the US off because you don't need to see that one. So you can control what you see here. This is the default pricing strategy. So you can choose which is your favorite strategy and you can click it and make it your default strategy from here. And then the, all that does is when you click that button on the inventory page that says change all products to default, or, you know, that, that's what it'll do. So if you click that button, everything in sales, if we go, let me show you. So if you click this button, all strategies to default, what that does is whatever you've chosen here as your favorite, that moves all of them to, to cautious sales and hard stuff, for instance. Okay, the sleep mode is a really clever feature because what happens if, you know, Profit Protector Pro is built to maximize your profits. That's the whole point of it. It's not built to, to drill down the price and penny under all the way down so that there's no profit in any deals. It's meant to take up your price. But obviously other people are using repricers that just drill down the price and lower profits rather than increase profits. So what happens is Profit Protector Pro argues with them and tries to get the price up rather than take the price down. And to help Profit Protector Pro do that, you can use something called sleep mode. So that means that when sales are at their slowest, 
So you can, you know, like for instance, if you were going to do it from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. or 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. or something like that. What that means is that all the products then go to maximum price. All, all your repricing will go to maximum. So the next day when the reprice of the crazy reprice is pushing everything down start and Profit Protector Pro is fighting them all day to get the price back up again and still get you sales, then it's starting from a higher point. So if if you if on Thursday you finished and the repricing was at ten pounds and your you know and your maximum price is twenty pounds overnight it will reset your maximum price to twenty pounds so that you're starting again from a higher price point. And it's a really good idea to do that. It's a really good feature. So you can enable it there, and then you can choose whether you want to include prices. Um, so if you, if you choose that, then you can choose here that you want to include buy box winners. Now, what that means, so if you're going to set this for like 1 a.m. to 5 a.m., say something like that. Now, whether you click include buy box winners or not, what that means is when all those products that are at £10 and it gets to 1 a.m. and Profit Protector Pro says, right, we're going to go to sleep now, we're going to move everything to £20, don't get me wrong, Profit Protector Pro is not sleeping. It's still doing what it needs to do. All it's doing is moving your prices up to the maximum. So when it moves them up to the maximum, from £10 to £20, say, or $10 to $20, what's happening is this button here is just giving PPP whether or not it should include ASINs where you've currently got the buy box. So I would suggest you do not tick that box. Because if you've currently got the buy box, you don't want Profit Protector Pro taking your price from $10 or £10 to $20. That's not helpful because you've currently got the buy box, you're getting sales. And if that's within your minimum and maximum, then that's exactly what Profit Protector Pro is supposed to be doing. So I would suggest you don't include, you don't tick that button. So then when you've chosen everything you want to do, you just click Save Changes. So that's the My Account one. So if we go into Bulk Inventory, Okay, so in bulk inventory, what you can do is you can download, if you don't want to mess about, if you've got a lot of repricing changes to do, for instance, right, and you don't want to mess about doing them all in here, what you can do is you can go into the bulk inventory and you can download your full inventory. You can then make changes on that in Numbers or Excel or Word, and you've got the different videos here showing you exactly how to do that. So you download it, you make all your changes in Excel or whatever, or numbers, whatever you're using. So make it really easy because you're just using that on your computer. And then when you've done all of that, then you can upload it again. And you can choose here to download your full inventory or only ones that are in stock. So you can choose what you want to do there. And obviously once you've done it all, you can upload it again. On the download, there's certain, uh, there's, rather than saying the marketplace, it's got, uh, you know, IDs, the same as the strategies have got IDs. So we just put them down there and you can just choose whatever one it is that you want. And then that will work when you do your, you upload it again, and then you'll be off with your new pricing. But you can only change your minimum, your maximum, and your, you should only change your minimum, your maximum, and your strategy. Don't try deleting products and that sort of thing from within the bulk um, download is literally just for changing your minimum, your maximum, your strategy. Just focus on those and you'll be safe doing it. Okay, so we can go into the Amazon settings. So this is how you set up Profit Protector Pro. And I'm not going to go into this in detail because that's covered on another video. But basically, this is how you, you know, you set it all up and you get it working and syncing with your um, Seller Central account. So here it is on the UK side, here it is on the US side. Now Profit Protector Pro is set to UK time at the moment. So if you're in the US and you want to use the sleep mode and such like, then you'll need to just set your uh, set the right time zone for wherever you are in the world. And then you can choose whichever marketplace you want to be your preferred one. And then obviously then you just click save changes. So that's what's in there. And in subscription settings is just how you uh, 
change to an annual plan or you want to cancel or you want to change anything within your subscription, obviously, you can do it from within there. Now, also, Profit Protector Pro has an um, Chrome extension. So if you're using Profit Protector Pro, you want to go to the Chrome store and download the Chrome extension. If you're using Bybot Pro, then that is already integrated into Profit Protector Pro and you don't need the extra Chrome extension. It's in your Bybot Pro extension already. But let me talk you through what the Chrome extension does. Okay, so here is the Chrome extension. So as I say, if you're using Bybot Pro, then it's here within your Bybot Pro. And if you're not, you can use it here within the Chrome extension, which you can get from the Chrome store. So you would put your ASIN in here, you'd add your cost price, you'd add your break even price. And then if, if you want to, you don't have to use those two, they're entirely up to you. As I say, if you're using Bybot Pro, then Bybot Pro works it all out automatically for you and transfers it in. But if you're not, you can use, you can enter it here yourself if you want to do that. And then you set your minimum, your maximum and your strategy. And then when you're happy that you've got it set in the marketplaces you want to, you click save in PPP and it will put it into your PPP account for you. So what happens is Profit Protector Pro will sync with Amazon anyway. So regularly Profit Protector Pro syncs with Amazon. But Profit Protector Pro has instant repricing, which is a really big thing, which means that if you upload your product here, rather than just wait for it to sync with Amazon, PPP will start repricing the minute your product lands. So you can literally be sourcing your products and you can analyze your products and then you can decide you're buying it. You can enter it into Profit Protector Pro, save it, and that's your analysis and your repricing done at the time you bought the product. Super easy. And then because it's gone in through the Chrome extension, it's not waiting for Amazon to sync with it. It will start repricing immediately that product as minute Amazon pushed that button to say they've received your stock and it's there, Profit Protector Pro will start repricing straight away. So that's really, really helpful and really good. So that's a great reason to use the extension for Profit Protector Pro. But Profit Protector Pro is currently, as far as I'm aware, the only, Chrome, the only uh, repricer to have a Chrome extension and let you do it all on the page at the time of purchasing your deal. So as you can see, Profit Protector Pro has got loads of fantastic features in it. There's so much more coming. You wouldn't believe what we're working on. It's going to blow things out of the water. I'm so excited to share it all with you soon. So thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure going through Profit Protector Pro with you. And don't forget, support are available on info at Profit Protector Pro, 24 hours a day, five days a week, but we're available for you seven days a week. So get, just reach out if you need us for anything at all.